to another episode of Watch Once Over. My name is Big E. Today we're going to be looking at the all-new Mudman. This one is in the orange, red, and gray uh, colorway. This is the GW 9500-A4. Um, this goes for 380 USDs, and it's available right now at azfinetime.com. They're in stock now, and they have all the colorways. Full stop, I'm probably going to get me a, a positive display one. Now, let's just check this one out. I'll go through some of the features. It has all the usual suspects, one of them being 200 meters of water resistance. Um, on this negative display, you get the um, day of the week, the countdown timer. Uh, you can record events, stopwatch. Um, that's your countdown time right there. Uh, five alarms, roll time setting, radio uh, receiving uh, for your multi-band six, um, and your time. Now this is a triple sensor, uh, triple sensor watch, and as you can see right down here at six o'clock, it uh, it has Mud Man on there, and you have these three instantaneous buttons one is for the barometer the other one is for the uh the uh compass and then this one is for the altimeter and your sensor is over here where nine o'clock would be then you have your mode button and your adjust button this one um i believe does not uh, have bluetooth that's one of the reasons why i do like it because um, I don't want to really be tethered uh, uh, to my phone personally. Uh, it has the carbon core guard structure. Uh, you have the comfort winglets right here, which is pretty cool. And steel buttons. You have these four accented uh, steel rivets that are holding the case together. And then some more on the side. It's a very rugged and robust watch. You see triple sensor on that part of the band, and then on this part of the band, mud resist, tough solar, multi-band six. So this watch is atomic, so it will be carrying the exact time, all the time, and it will update at least once a day to the atomic clock. Now, we have a button right here, right by the uh, bottom of the band. That is going to be your light, and I believe you can set this on an auto light. Remember, this is solar. And it has that new high definition display, but this is also a dual layer uh, display. And I'll show you how that works. When you go to say this mode, it over it overlays each other. So you go to compass mode, and you'll see the dual layer display come into effect. Where as that compass is going to be. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a crosshairs, and a, and the compass is going to um, be overlaid on on the top display, while the bottom display is is going to be your normal display. Now to turn that off, you can just go back to your mode button, and that's really cool. It's it's a different technology. It's the first time I've ever seen a dual uh, layer solar watch. Um, to me personally, the negative display is a little faint. That's why I'm going to purchase the positive display one. But this one is really, really good, especially in bright sunlight. I'll use this flashlight to show you. So when you're outside, out and about, and you're in bright sunlight, this is almost going to act like wind, window tint. So you'll always be able to get a clear picture in bright sunlight. And a lot of um, negative displays, um, especially older ones, have an issue with um, glare. This one, as you can see, does not. And I'm holding a bright flashlight right up on there uh, to show you how great that display is going to be in bright sunlight. And then you have the backlighting with the button and you can put that on auto light too. So I, I think it's pretty cool 
for 380 bucks, you get a uh, tough solar, you get multi band six, you get triple sensor, you get the new ultra clear display with dual layers and all the usual suspects. I think it's nice. Personally, um, I'm not going to go through all the settings because there's a million of them on here. I just wanted to show this to you, but I will go through the measurements real quick and show it to you on my wrist. Coming straight across, it's going to be a big one, 53 millimeters. It's going to be a thinner 12.6. That's not that thick for a, a, a G-Shock, actually. And, and then the strap, mm, it's hard to measure these. You see it's 32, but for all perspective purposes, it's a 22. Um, you have dual anchoring points for this strap. Uh, really nice material on here. And I'll show it to you what it looks like on my wrist, 7.25 inches. These Casio uh, my, um, watches fit really good. You have these winglets that take up any slack um, so you don't have a gap. So it's really, really comfortable. And that's one of the things I do like about this. And it looks really good. My wrist is um, 7.25 inches. So it fits on my wrist, and this will fit comfortably down, comfortably down to a watch, a wrist about five and a half inches, all the way up to a ten inch wrist with no problem. So um, I do sign off on it. It does have a more faint negative display, in my personal opinion. But um, you know, if you're going to be outdoors, it's going to be the bee's knees, as um, I showed you with the flashlight. Uh, but you also do have this backlight. Um, if you need it. So you'll always be able to see this one uh, just about any conditions. And plus you get to 200 meters of water resistance like any other G-Shock. So this is the new Mud Man. Um, I like it. The back has that mole on there. That's pretty cool. See that with the compass? I do like that. That's neat. I like the steel buttons. Um, let me know what you guys think about this one. I'm going to probably get the one with the positive display, but this one's nice too. Uh, let me know what you think. My name is Biggie. God bless you. That's the watch once over for today. And as usual, I'll catch you guys on the next video.